One of the greatest challenges so many people face with echocardiography is getting that all-important practice time in. There always seems to be a reason why it's better to just wait for the next patient. Maybe the clinic's running behind, there's a more experienced colleague on hand, you're worried about what you might find and there's a cardiologist coming next week. It's a difficult patient, it's a cat, or you feel embarrassed scanning in front of a certain person. There is no end of reasons you'll be able to come up with for why you shouldn't start now. Know that everyone who has ever learnt echocardiography has been on that exact same journey. You will feel nervous. You will struggle to find the heart. It's positioned differently on every patient. But I promise you it's happened to everyone. And you know what? It still does. After eight years and thousands of patients, I still have those moments where I'm like, does this cat even have a heart? And I've seen the same thing happen to world leading cardiologists with decades more experience than me. So now when that happens to me, I just laugh at myself. I encourage the vet nurses to laugh at me too. And I keep going. Equally, if a patient has really bad pictures or just won't keep still, I don't allow that to throw me anymore. I just grab what I can get and I know that that would have been difficult for anybody. You will get to that stage too, but of course that calmness comes with knowing that you're going to get all the necessary images, you're not going to miss anything, and you'll know how to interpret your scan at the end of it. That is why people join our program, to have not only the knowledge but also the structure and the support. To have access to a second opinion and to have people to encourage you along the way. If you can make yourself pick up the probe even when you don't really want to, you'll be surprised at how quickly you become desensitised to who your patient is and who's watching and how much time you have. If you've got an echo story to share, please do post it in the comments below. I can definitely share an embarrassing story or two back. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. It's really encouraging to see so many people subscribing, joining our newsletter, or sending in interesting questions by email. Please do keep it up and thank you so much.